Hello everybody, welcome to the Outlet Podcast channel. My name's Gazy, host of the Outlet Podcast, and I gotta eat crow. I have to eat crow. Um, what am I talking about? Well, uh, let me explain. Um, not too, well, a little while back, if you go back and check out some of my earlier vlog entries, I really went after whitewashing in Hollywood, and specifically, I really went after um, Scarlett Johansson when I first heard that she's going to be Major Katsuragi in the new Ghost in the Shell movie that's coming out. Um, I don't, I don't like it in so much that it, she, that's all she does now. All she does is the ninja girl, the, the spy girl. That's all she, Lucy, Black Widow, and she's like, I think there's like maybe some prior ones where it's like the same thing. It's the same role that she's playing over and over again. And I'm like, I'm like, whatever. It's, it's, it's not only is it boring, but like she's being I don't know it's not type casting if you want it I don't know I don't know so that's the thing she's been doing this and it's super annoying and I don't know why she had to I don't know if she has what it takes to be Major Katsuragi Major Katsuragi is no fool she is awesome she's intense she is tough she's the best well I know I saw from Anime News Network. It was, I guess, reported, or, yeah, I guess, it, yeah, it was a reported. Uh, two, no, three, not one, not two, or uh, three, there's three, three uh, trailers. Very short, very short trailers um, f from the Ghost in the Shell movie. Th very, three short trailers in the Ghost in the Shell movie. Um, and you actually, so one, there's like a, a gay um man okay so there, like one there's a geisha and another one you see um scarjo uh scarjo katsuragi uh unplugging and then the third one you see her um like actually speaking to somebody um i don't know if it's a shell like i don't know i don't know or like if it's a pure robot or whatever but um it i don't know what to think um to be major katsuragi you have to be very, very, like, like cold, stern-faced. You can't be, like, super emotional. You can't. I don't... Imagine a Black Widow who doesn't care. Uh, if And a, a Black... Yeah, a Black Widow that doesn't care. That's pretty much who Major Katsuragi is. Uh, and unbelievably tough. I mean, uh, the toughness of a super spy in the Marvel Universe compared to the toughness of a covert secret operative unbelievably military trained hardcore person in an anime that's there it's like two different types so it's very intense and it actually it's very cool it's very cool so i i'm i have to eat crow because i liked it i liked it i liked what i saw i I don't like the idea. I don't like the. I don't like the idea of whitewashing. I really don't. Um, I think it's embarrassing. I think it's shameful. Now, while I don't agree with that, I don't agree with whitewashing. H Hollywood is just general. Hollywood says, "Hey, this person has a big name." They can make us a lot of money. They've done this type of movie before. You're going to go and watch it. You, you know, so don't, so I don't see what the problem is. In that respect, I'm okay. I'm like, okay, I I get it. I think Hollywood makes sense in that regard. Um, and so I, I'm on both sides of the fence here. Um, are there Japanese actresses? or uh, Asian, any type of, any Asian actress who can fulfill a role such as one of Major Katsuragi? Yes. Where are they? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't want to see another Zhang Zi Ni. Like, she was awesome in House of Flying Daggers and uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Amazing movies. Please watch them, by the way. Um, but I don't see, I don't see her actually doing it. So, the trailers are up online you can find them you can look at them um aesthetically i'm 
pretty excited to see what's going to go down. If you know anything about Ghost in the Shell, you know it it what it warped your mind more than Inception in a different way than Inception warped your mind when Inception first came out. This is a different type of uh, warp. Uh, like things that you didn't even think about, you started considering. It was like a pre-Matrix where, you know, pe people come out with Matrix, um, like uh, people come out with like Matrix, um, like ideologies or, you know, concepts that are abstract and they started like think about those things, which is great. I, I really love abstract thinking. I, apparently I took a career test and they said I, that's one of my like, like positive stuff that I do um, like abstract thinking. But anyways, um, that's what Ghost in the Shell was. I watched, I just watched um, the original Ghost in the Shell movie. Not the, not laughing man. I watched like the original Ghost in the Shell movie. Um, very aesthetically pleasing. I mean, the animation was, um, the animation was inhibited by the time. So that stinks, you know, because, you know, technology, like sometimes great works of art. Oh, look at the sun, sun rays. Uh, sometimes great works of art are inhibited by, there we go, wham, like the, by the times. I mean, okay, you got the Sistine Chapel, which is amazing that you can, that, that was able, that was, ha that had been able to been done, which is great. There are other great things that just won't get that same pop and pump and circumstance because the lack of technology. So, um, I Ghost in the Shell is one of those things that even if you're an, if you're an anime fan now, if you just start or you just started to be an anime fan, don't look down upon old animes, your Evangelions, your original Gundam Wing, your Trigun. You know, early, you know, well, you got Dragon Ball. Don't look bit down upon uh, Paranoia Agent, FLCL. Don't look down upon these animes because these animes, Cowboy Bebop is a great example. Don't look down upon them because they paved the way. They further, they furthered the ideology of tropes, which you find so much in current animes. So definitely, listen, take my advice. Don't look down upon these animes. Check them out. Check out Ghost in the Shell. If you're a fan, if you watch the original movie, watch the original uh, animated feature, um, then I recommend to you just watch the animated series, the standalone complex with you know the Laughing Man and all this stuff. Watch it. You're gonna you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna love it because you know I I really enjoyed it and I loved it. So my name's Gazy, host of the Outlet Podcast, eating crow and avoiding a bug that's flying around inside my car. All right, connect and recharge.